messing with him. Oh, baby. What's going on guys? Today we are doing some more topper fishing here at the Bayahana Bridge. We've got live crabs today, lots of them. And uh, I've been drifting back a bait. These tarpon are going nuts. So hopefully we can get one hooked up here real soon, but I'm not giving up. I'm just gonna keep drifting my bait back over and over until I get a bite. Hey, what's up guys? It's time for a little uh, update. You can see I'm reeling in my line now. I wanna give you guys a little how-to. We, we are here under the, like Darcy said, the Bahia Honda Bridge. And bringing the line in, you can see, like I saw it on a seminar, we got the balloon. And we got our weights, right? And our little crab, here's how it's hooked. You see that? And blue claw, the blue claw crab. And this is, happens to be a female, but whatever. All right, so when she comes in, sometimes it has, sometimes it has seaweed on it. And then sometimes the balloon just gets pushed up and down, so you can move it back up. And then we're gonna grab it, and Darcy's gonna throw it out. And I'm just gonna put this in, you know, tick this off here, and she's just gonna throw it out there, and we're gonna drift it back. Here we go. Go ahead, Sizzle. Up. Oh. Woo! See, now we threw it out up there, and so it's still gonna drift right through this bridge. Now, this whole area, and I'll be surprised if none jump right now, but of course they won't because I'm on camera. But I got it in free spool, and I'm just drifting the crab through the bridge. And you know, there's a lot of crabs going going through the bridge, and a, a million tarpon back here. Of course, none are going to jump right now, but um, oh, there's some right there. And uh, you just do this all day. Now it's been a little slow today. We've only seen, I think, three hookups, three bites, and maybe only one landed. We're not sure if the guy landed or not. He's pretty, he's pretty far away. All right, well, so one guy hooked up over there. So that's four bites we've seen all day. Uh, well, we've been here about an hour and a half, but that's the first bite we've seen in about an hour. So well, we're going to fish this whole tide. We have nice crabs today, and so that's what we're doing. I got I to gotta reel this in. All right, we're hooked up. Get back. Oh, come on. Go to the front. Go, go, go. Come on. All right, guys, we are hooked up. All right, fish on, finally. I really did not think we we're gonna get one today. Kind of the last hour. Oh, nice. Should have bowed. Did not. <laughs> you gotta Keep pay attention fish. over here. Gotta pay attention. But we're in the last hour of our fishing trip. Tide slowing down. I was really uh, losing, just losing hope. I didn't think we we're gonna get a fish. And sure enough, we did. And we kind of just like had one rod in the water for a while and decided to do two rods. So that way increases our chances by 50%. And sure enough, we got a fish. So, on a crab, of course. Now I'm out of breath. And we had another line out, so Brian was trying to reel that up while I was still hooked up on this fish. And freaked, freaked out there for a minute, but totally stoked. We got a tarpon on our flats boat. Now we just gotta see if we can land them, which that would be epic. Freaking awesome. I need to push it. Let's push it. He wants to go by this bridge. So when you catch a tarpon here on these bridges, you really just want to try with your boat and try to like force them away from the bridges because that's how you're going to break off right away and lose your fish. So she's still fighting pretty good, but we're slowly starting to drift away from the bridge because the current's pushing us the other way. But this fish wants to go that way. So we're just going to try to keep them away. And luckily there's not too many boats out here either fishing today, so we're lucky in that respect. So we should be able to get this fish to the boat. I have confidence. Alright, I'm going to make an official catch right here. 
Got to get the leader to the tip of the rod. So close. Oh, came back out. All right, caught fish. Oh, this is a huge tarpon. Sick. Huge. All right, caught this fish. So now, I'm just going to try to get him up here. All right, so once again, I'm using 60-pound tsunami fluorocarbon leader, which is perfect for these big fish on these bridges. He's right here. Got him close. We're a good distance away from the bridge, which is good. Gorgeous. Check him out. Oh my god, huge hammerhead! Huge hammerhead! This fish, we're not gonna land this fish. Baby, that's why we lay it too long. Alright, let him. Where's the hammerhead? It's right here. The hammerhead's under the boat with him. So, so let's let him free spool it. Just let him go. Run, run with the fish. We're good. Alright, the big hammerhead came up. Alright, with a big hammerhead under the boat. Go, go, go. And so we let the fish, we free spooled it to let the fish run. So he wouldn't get eaten, and now we gotta try and catch him again. Then we gotta get the hook out of him. Where is it? I don't know, he's around. He's huge, like eight foot, nine foot. He was right here by him. Look at this fish! Woohoo! Monster tarpon! All right, we're just gonna get rid of this. Grab him. I got him. Grab his head face, you got him? Yeah. Right here. Alright. Stark is right here. Where's those pliers? Oh! <laughs> there go my bubble blade pliers. You gotta get them. What? They're gone? Yeah. They're right over the side. Baby! <laughs> We're having a great day. Hold up, we'll try. Hold him up for the camera. No, I'm just trying to get this out, baby. Alright. <laughs> we got to get better at this, but we that's our first fish we caught on our boat by ourselves. Um, so we had a little bit of a hustle there. We lost our pliers, freaking shock around the boat, opened the bale, like just all this stuff going on. Pretty sure the shark, I mean, the fish made it. He swam away, but you know, the, that time the hammerhead is around. So, and usually they do get those tarpon after they've been hooked. So, crossing my fingers, that didn't happen, but um, that was a solid, solid fish for sure. 70, 80 pounder. Fortunately, we couldn't get a picture with them. It was just too much. If we had a third person on the boat, we probably could have showed you a little better, but it was too much going on. Oh, darn. He's messing with him. Oh, baby. Baby, you're destroyed. Go, 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 go. Go, Tarpon, go! Come on, sit, get on your knees. Go. He's on him, he's down there. Right here? Right here? Sure. Right here? You're down deep with him, he's got him. And his mouth down there. Right here. They're down deep, 20 feet deep. There's a Tarpon, coming back up. Right here, right here, still chasing him. Right here, right here, coming up. Right here, right here under the boat. It's so hard to tell. So hard to tell because they like the freaking shark is swimming backwards with them too. Right there, right there, right there. It's in his mouth. Yeah, you see it? It's in his mouth right now. All right, so we just caught, we just, well, we just finished up with that fish and we actually went and got our little, uh, our rope and our anchor that was still over in our spot, picked that up. And we're ending our fishing trip anyways. And then actually on Facebook, I believe, one of our fans contacted us and said that we should stop by and say hello. And then also hang out and get some free ice cream or something like that. I think it's the Bahia Honda uh, Snorkeling Center. So uh, we are excited and What's up? <laughs> How you doing? Any help to them? Ropes are, you don't need ropes in the keys. That's nonsense, don't need that like that. <laughs> I wonder why man, he, he's, he's a good looking guy, ain't he? <laughs>
<laughs> I dance too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the double fudge brownie. Double fudge brownie. Yummy. That ice cream was delicious and it was nice and cold in there too, so definitely got cooled down. I was soaking, sweating, very hot. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, this is a really cool spot, a really nice tourist area, and they've got a lot of cool knickknacks and stuff in there to sell. And you can check it out. They got a snack bar, a gift shop, a dive shop, and, and even a dock master. And they've got this nice little snorkeling boat here. And they take it offshore and they go up on the reefs and stuff and even see monster goliath groupers and all kinds of cool fish. Um, so you can check out the Bahia Honda Snorkeling Center um, on Bahia Honda. It's finally the end of the day and after catching that tarpon we kind of just headed home and did some work on the computer and great stuff like that. So sun is going down and we needed to make a stop for more live crabs because we cannot catch crabs. We tried it twice now with no luck. And Tristan over here has caught a few crabs on his own and also here at the Lower Keys Tackle Store in Big Pine they have live crabs here as well. And uh, Tristan and his dad Josh works here actually and uh, they were just hanging out so we went back there and got picked out some really perfect crabs for tarpon fishing tomorrow. So uh, that's also the tarpon we caught the fish on today is from a crab from this place. So you can get your tarpon crabs here. They have a lot of bait and tackle and great stuff inside this store. It's a really nice store. And um, you can also check out Tristan, Tristan Keys to Fishing on Facebook and follow his page, like it. He's a big fisherman down here in Big Pine and he loves to fish. And what's your favorite kind of fishing? Yellow tailing. It's the best thing in my, it's my favorite. He loves yellow tailing. He thinks it's the funnest thing ever and that's totally awesome. And he was just talking about some Goliath groupers he caught and sharks and he's really into it. And he's so young, he's only 11 years old, right? right. Yeah, so he's going to be like big time one of these days coming up. So you guys need to follow him. Christian Keys to Fishing will be down in the description below. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're going to be on the tarpon again tomorrow. Hopefully we can hit it hard. So make sure you check back. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. <laughs> nice.